What's good, Eagles fans? This is your guy, Tone DeShields II from Chalk It Up Sports Philly, where no matter if we win or if we lose, we just got to charge it to the game. Look, you guys, bad news. As we already know, the NFL decided to postpone the Eagles-Washington football team matchup to Tuesday at 7 p.m. That means we're not going to play this Sunday, you guys. Now, there are still going to be NFL games being played on Sunday, but there have been a handful of games postponed to Monday and Tuesday, most notably ours against the Washington football team. And I'll be honest, I'm not really a fan of the decision. I'm a firm believer in the mindset of, at the end of the day, I want to give credit to the teams who actually did a good job at protecting their players and the teams who did not need to suffer the consequences. That's one side of my brain. But the other side of my brain is saying, well, what if it was the Eagles in this position? What if the Eagles did everything they could to protect their players, but they still had so many players come down um, with the coronavirus or guys that came in contact with people that, you know, uh, with the coronavirus and were placed in the health and safety protocol? What if it was us, right? I would want a fair shot at any game, at any point of making the playoffs, because this is such a competitive season. And I really believe that's why the NFL and the NFLPA made the decision they made was because of the fact that the the disparity between teams and their records is so slim any team having to forfeit a game will literally ruin their playoff chances and it will influence the way the entire matchups will shake up in this upcoming playoffs so i do want to express my frustration with the decision but i also understand both sides of the coin especially if it was my team that had the coronavirus but you know at the end of the day, the NFL made a decision at the beginning of the season, and they said that any team that comes down with a lot of cases, no matter the circumstances, they have to forfeit the game. But I don't think the NFL accounted for this many teams being competitive or this many teams um, being able to make a playoff spot. You can almost make an argument that their decision to add another team into the playoffs instead of it being six teams, now it's seven teams in the playoffs. You can make an argument that their decision to do that also coincides with you know, the way things are playing out and the fact that more teams are able to get in. And it it, and it it definitely has a direct effect on them postponing games, so on and so forth. So I understand what they're trying to do. They're trying to save face. They're trying to save they're, – they're trying, to, they're trying to make all their money. And they're trying to give all the teams a fair shot at, you know, you know making the playoffs. At the end of the day, this is about ratings and this is about the NFL making their money and getting, and, and getting everything they feel that they're owed. But – you know, my Philadelphia Eagles were ready. We've only had two guys um, enter health and safety protocols. That was Dallas Goddard early in the season. He only missed one game because of it. And then now Quest Watkins, who potentially um, would have missed the game on Sunday. But now that the game has been pushed back to Tuesday, he can potentially play. So the Philadelphia Eagles did a good job um, uh, uh, protecting their players. The Washington football team, not so much. And I feel like teams need to do a better job at exercising all the protocols and doing everything they can to keep guys as healthy as possible. But here's another side of it as well. This These extra games or these extra days to rest will directly benefit Jalen Hurts and the rest of the team who's coming off of a bye week. This team should be fully healthy, fully well rested for this Washington football team matchup on Tuesday. And Jalen Hurts out of all the players needed it the most because the fact that he's nursing that sore ankle injury. And we all know that he's battling for his future with the NFL. Well, not even matter of fact, not even with the NFL, because there's going to be a team who's willing to take a chance on him if, if it's not with the Eagles. But he's battling for his spot to be the Eagles starting quarterback, not just for the now, but for the near future as well. And maybe for the far future as well. Uh, you know, Jalen Hurts has a lot riding on these next four games. He needs to prove not only to himself, but to the organization and to the city that he can lead this team on a final playoff push. And that's the nuance that we really need to look into, the fact that he has extra time to be healthy. I was looking at the injury report, and everyone were full participants in practice, even Jalen Hurts, even Jordan Howard, and those guys are key to our running to our running attack. So, yes, Eagles fans, I am frustrated, just like you, because of the fact that the Eagles game was postponed and we have to wait another few days um, to watch some football. But at the same time, like my man J.C. Eagles Talk said, it may be a blessing in disguise. The fact that Jalen Hurts has the opportunity to get some extra rest on that ankle. And, you know, he has a real opportunity to get this team into the playoffs if he wins out and he dominates things against the Washington football team. And it's straight like that. I'm your humble host, Tony DeShields II from Chalk It Up Sports Philly, where no matter if we win or if we lose, we just got to charge it to the game. One love, stay humble, stay healthy, and most importantly, stay hungry. And fly goes fly.